Mangoes are freaking tasty. You know, lately we've been buying a ton of, and when I say a ton, I mean like boxes and boxes of the champagne mangoes that have been really, really sweet, really delicious lately. And basically they're just on fire. So I know in the US we can get mangoes like year round, but right now these champagne mangoes, noise. The problem with mangoes though, is that they're very awkward to cut, right? In this video, I'm gonna show you a few ways you can cut and enjoy fresh mangoes in your own home. You don't have to be scared of cutting them or wonder how the hell to cut them. But yeah, so before that, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Adventures of Carlian, where we're pursuing our passions and trying to improve ourselves every day. So hopefully you guys join in our adventure, join us and we can all grow together. So let's head to the kitchen, let's cut some mangoes. First off, let's identify the sides of a mango. You have a thick side where the cheek is and then a thin side, kind of where the edge of the seed is. For this first cut, it's very simple, very uh, popular cut. You're gonna cut off the cheek and score the inside of that cheek. Be careful not to go all the way through the skin because you might cut yourself. A safer way to do it would be either on the cutting board or with a towel in between your hand and the mango. Next, flip it inside out and all these dices will reveal itself. Then you can enjoy your mango right there. For our next cut, we're going to large dice this mango. The procedure is quite similar to the previous one. You cut the cheek off, you score it, flip it inside out, and cut the dices right off of the skin. This is great for oatmeal, cereal, smoothie bowls for a topping. You can do this if you've got a ton of mangoes, dice them up and then freeze it so that you know you have tasty mangoes year round. For our next cut, we'll remove the cheek, cut wedges out of that cheek, and then enjoy from there. I honestly like this style as opposed to the first one just because it's a little cleaner. You don't have to get all that mango juice all over your face. Staying on the theme of simple, we're gonna cut the cheek for this one, grab a spoon, and enjoy the flesh right out. Again, this one keeps it easy and also pretty clean. After you've cut so many mango cheeks off of these mangoes, there's still a lot of meat left. So what I like to do is to cut along the edge of the seed and then skinning it parallel to my cutting board. Then I will cut the meat lengthwise from tip to tip and then create these small dice cuts. This cut is very useful for things like mango salsa or if you're making a mango pudding, it's nice touch to have some mango meat in there and you're still going to be left with a lot of meat on your mango. So there are no rules here. Now you can go ahead and start to cut along the seed wherever you can get more flesh, dice it up, and then put it in your salsa. And for our final cut, we're going to peel the mango skin right off of this whole mango and then cut thin flat pieces on the cheek side of the mango and then take your pieces and cut very thin strips of the mango. Now you have julienne mangoes and you can add it to your salads, which I like to have cucumber, onions, and papaya sometimes. It's just really, really tasty salad, really refreshing. So there you have it. That's six ways to enjoy tasty fresh mangoes. You know, let us know in the comments how you like to cut and enjoy your mangoes. I know as a Filipino, we love to peel it, you know, cut strips off of it and then dip it into some bagoong, which is basically a Filipino sweet shrimp paste. And it's a lot sweeter than a lot of the shrimp paste out there. And if you're not disgusted and you're a little adventurous, then um, I recommend you guys try it because it's really delicious. So anyway, you can also catch us on the Scene app. It's the easiest way to reach us about recipe ideas Yay. or comments or concerns or even just chat with us because we love to interact with you know any of our subscribers or followers or whatever you know it's a good way to be part of our community so i hope you guys give us a thumbs like on this video give us um a subscribe hit the bell button do all that stuff all the links are in the description of the things that we use today so yeah we'll catch you guys on the next one bye